this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video with a stamp with me and what this means is that we have to use stamps of some sort. Um, this is the first time I'm joining it so while I'm working through this I'm going to explain this and then I'll explain what this means. So I am working in my traveler's notebook. I decided that I'm going to pull out one of my close to my harp stamps that's called heart patterns and it's got a bunch of different patterns. Now I am going to emboss it and I'm going to show you how to use your Distress Oxides with embossing and how it is a cool effect. Now I do have to say in a very huge disclaimer on this, in my still shots it looks green but I promise you it is gray in like person. I don't know why my camera, like when I took my good photos with this, why it pulled green for whatever reason. But I am using clear embossing because I wanted to emboss it clear and then have it show up on the background. And it does show up perfectly. I absolutely love how it turned out for the background. I did make a boo-boo and you will see that I'm just stunned and I just, like the camera's rolling and it's just staring at you. I'm like, ah, uh, and I didn't know what to do. Um, I will let you know, you because this is clear, you can't see the magic of the magic of using embossing powders, but this is what I'm doing. So while you see me drying, I'll explain. Stamp with me. Back in January of this year, we I was talking to Scrap and Amy and a couple other gals, and we decided that we need to do more with our stamps. So here's my disclaimer on this. I set it or I set it up with Scrap and Amy. I thought, yeah, this is a great idea. Let's do it twice a month, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And we're into April, and this is the first time I'm joining. That is like a horrible, like, yeah, let's set up something and then not do it. But I do have to say that every time that this ended up coming into play of like the dates, I had design team layouts. I'm like, this is crazy. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that that's what this is all about. And make sure that you link down below to everybody that is joining. And do you see how that clear embossing shows up and the color doesn't go on it? That is why I love embossing. And you can do this with any color for your stamps. Any types of stamps that you want to use and you're using embossing stuff. So I use Versamark obviously for the glue to or the embossing powders to stick to um but I really love how this turns out I think it is perfect I think it's um very achievable to do I am in my traveler's notebook and I did do a little bit of um misting just to give that oxide a little bit of a different um texture to it and let me tell you you'll see exactly what I do I could not believe that I did oh I was so mad so the one side doesn't look quite as nice, but it still looks really good. I love it. You know what? It's done. I didn't want to go out and change this because, honestly, I was just not feeling to redo that whole page over again by stamping, pulling everything out, and so I made it work. So I'm taking stencils from Vicky Boone. This is one of her older ones, and here I have all my Distress Oxides out. I have um, seedless Grape, Mermaid Lagoon, I don't use the green, even though my still shots show that I used the green, I didn't, for whatever reason. And see, even though that we put the Distress Oxide down on top of those stamps, it still pulls the coloring because it doesn't stick to that embossing. So I absolutely love that part of it. And I'm just drying it, and here we go. This is where you, oh, nope, I do pull out my yellow. I can't remember the mustard, it's the mustard one. Um, I think. I don't know, it's a yellow one. It's right there for you to see. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I just take different spots, and this is a newer Vicky Booten one. And I'm just putting it a little bit. You can kind of see the yellow but not too much and that's kind of what I wanted I just wanted to add layer after layer after layer on this one and I think it's perfect however here I go I grab the mist you'll see I spray on this one and it's my baby's breath and look what it does I just uh, you just see me stir at it 
the elbow and every, I'm just like, oh. Uh. So I stopped and I redid it. I let it dry and then I redid it. And it, you can't quite tell other than you do see a little bit of smudging. But it's not bad. And I do hide most of the smudging with um, the embellishments that I pull from the Bloom collection. So these are my design team Confessions of the Paper Attic Cup File Shop times two. We started, um, I went and gained back. So I am actually only on a few design teams now. I cut myself way back. And I absolutely love that I did because I can really, really focus on Confessions of the Paper Attic Cup File Shop and um, Festive Friday and then uh, what was the other one that I'm on? Um, uh, Shimmer's Paints. I absolutely love those teams. I love all three of my teams. They're amazing. They work really well. Um, I just absolutely, like I said, I absolutely love the cut files from the Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File Shop. The team, the owner, Virginia, is amazing. And obviously, you all know that I love Shimmer's Paints. That's all I use. I mean, I do have Distress Oxides, but that's completely different. That's not something that they sell. I don't have any other mist. You guys know this. If I pull out a mist, you know that it's from Shimmer's Paint. So my design teams are amazing. I absolutely love them. They completely understand me. And I'm just grateful for the teams that I have. And um, so yeah, that's a little bit about what I, I'm doing here. So this is just the design team photo for the, the term that we are on. And she is actually, as this is going up, she has a design team call for May to October. And if you need to, I'll link her, I'm going to link her group down below. And if you are interested, you can definitely join because she does have a design team call from now until the end of the month of April 2020. So that if you are interested, go ahead. It is amazing. I love her team. I just, I love everything, 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 everything about it. Um, she does an amazing job of her cup files. Um, she takes requests and she whenever she can be able to get them up and running she definitely does and it's just perfecto. now I am just going through the bloom collection from Paige Evans to get down all these little bits and bobs and then this is pretty much rounding it out now I do add little bits of enamel dots because I think that that adds just a little bit more. I do add that little heart that you see down on the bottom. I add the design team from like when to when design team. So this one was from October to April. And I'm just adding it in here. And this is how I, once you see me put this down, you will see me add um, these pages to my... Um, design or my traveler's notebooks there we go that's what I was looking for this is how I do it um sometimes I do cut it up sometimes I wait and put it in there I and then I cut along the dotted line either way it works out perfect I absolutely love how this one turned out um this one is getting pretty chunky monkey I think um I may depending on how it goes I may only be able to have like two or three more um, design team layouts to be put in this traveler's notebook and then this one is full jam-packed of when I joined how I joined um, who I joined all of that it just works out perfect so yeah that's what it looks like and then I do come in with my enamel dots so I'm gonna leave you with the enamel dots I'm just going through my little packet of enamel dots right there just to get the colors because I don't have any more enamel dots from this collection. So I'm going to leave you with that. The still shots are coming up. Make sure that you check out the Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File group if you're looking for the design team. That'll be linked down below along with everybody else. If you're new to my channel, like and subscribe because I'd love to have you with my YouTube family. Also, I hope that you love the still shots and I hope that you guys are staying safe and have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!